Hi everyone, welcome back to Codan Alliance Adventures. I'm Jen. Um, today we are going to do a look with the Ace Butte Butte Butte. I don't know how you really pronounce it. Um, vintage Dawn palette that we got in our boxy charms. Um, I also have. I was looking through my makeup, and I have some little. Um, they're kind of like super shock shadows, I guess, that we got I don't know, quite a few months ago in our boxy charms as well. And, um, let's see if I can get them open because it's been a while. I remember these being absolutely stunning shadows. As you can see, I've used them. Um, this is a very beautiful gold shadow and then this really I think I just swatched this one, um, like a rose gold color. I'm going to have to use this one. Um, but that gold color is gorgeous. I do remember using that. So I have used their shadows before, but this is the first time I've ever used a palette. So I shouldn't say that. I did use it on a friend the other day. But this is the first time I've ever used it on myself. So, we're going to go in, and I have a very specific look in mind today. So, we're not winging it like we normally are. Um, but here's what it looks like. It's a very beautiful palette. Um, lots of different variety here. Uh, you could create a great deal. Of different very beautiful very 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 drastic looks you could go from a warm look a very warm look um, using a lot of these uh, brown shades with some of that army green there Kelly green um, and then this like a, almost a burgundy brick red color and then maybe throw in some of these oranges which I am gonna use some of the oranges today uh and make a very warm look with it or you could go completely opposite and make a very very cool look with these blues and maybe throw in some of these yellows it's a very versatile palette so we like that you know especially if you're traveling or anything like that so very good but today we're going to kind of do a bit of a sunsetty type of look. You'll get my vibe. You'll get it. I promise. So, uh, I feel like uh, okay. As per usual, my face is done. I have my Juno and Co. primer on. I have also tried this. Um, I put this for Solly. Um, liquid glass on. I have my Holy Grail uh, concealer on. My this is now my Holy Grail uh, foundation CC or BB cream uh, on. I have I did not do a cream contour today. I just did uh, some bronzing powder out of the Tarte Clay Play palette. Uh, some Milani blush. Uh, let's see. Pull it out of my drawer here. I'll give you a quick look. It's just this. I really love this blush. It's like a coral color blush. I don't know if it's coming across very well, but it's a really beautiful blush. Going with light hand just gives you a real light flush. And then, sorry about the sniffles, guys. It's rainy, yucky day here. Um, Milani highlighter, just for a little bit of a shimmer. And then um, Becca Hydras, Hydra Mist powder all over the face. And then um, I did my brows. And well, I used a plethora of products on my brows. Mainly the Milani Palmade. Love that stuff. It's beautiful. Anyway, 
One of these days I'll do a favorite and fails video. Okay, so now that that's all done, okay, I can't anymore. Ugh. There, hopefully it won't run anymore. No, there it goes. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Daybreak, which is this really beautiful yellow. And I'm going to just do that in my crease. As you know, I have hooded lids, so I'm going to go above my crease. How did I get glitter on my face? really want to try and get that good and saturated but not like holy moly you know Oh, so Okay, now that you think both sides are about even, which I think this one needs just a little bit more. But now that you think both sides are about even, right? Now I'm going to go in um, with um, this uh, Moda. Wow, I lost my train of thought there for a second. This Moda brush, because it's a little bit pointier. Can you see it? So it's a little bit finer detail. And I'm going to go in with this Horizon color. Get where I'm going with this. Okay. So I'm going to go in with this. And I'm going to saturate all sides of that brush but I am gonna tap just once and then I'm gonna go on that crease but of course hooded eyes so I'm gonna go just slightly above it
Now, take that brush, this brush, and now you're using a double-ended brush. And just blend that a little bit, real lightly. Use a very, very, very light hand. Just blend that, kind of do circular motions, is what I do. And it just softens that ever so slightly into that yellow. But you don't lose that orange gradient. You see what happens? Okay. So now we move to the other eye. Now, I'm going to take more of a packer brush, but still soft. It's another motor brush, but it's more of a packer brush, you see, but I'm not going to wet it. And now I'm going to go into this deeper orange color, which is called Grand Canyon. And I'm going to go on the bottom. I'm filling in that white space that was there. If you hear funny noises in the background, that would be little Miss Coda. She's laying on the couch in front of me. Relaxing. So see what that did? Okay, now I'm going to do that on the other side.
then I'm going to take that yellow a big fluffy brush that I've been using to blend and I'm just going to go over the whole thing just to soften it up ever so slightly and just to kind of blend it all together Now, now we could add a little red shimmer with this um, gleam color, or we could do a little sunset on the water, right? And maybe do this color mixed with a little bit of this color as a liner. Hmm. We could do both, you know. Why not? Let's do it. We'll go with it. Yeah? I like it. So, I think what we'll do, it'll be very subtle though, because I don't want to overpower the look, if that makes sense. Um, I think that's too big. No, we'll use that one. And then we'll use this one as well. Okay, so, actually, I'll still use those two brushes. But I'm going to use my standard packer brush. My favorite. And a little bit of spray. Okay. For gleam which is that red color this one here on the corner uh, just to kind of you know get just a little bit more oomph to that red there for that middle all right I'm just gonna do just a smidge I'm going to take this brush and just kind of move it around a little bit. There, there we go. And then we'll come back and do that. I don't want a lot. I don't want it to, you know, overpower everything. Now that this brush has dried up a little bit, it's a little easier. When it was fresh, it was not as easy. So I'm going to add just a smidge more here. There we go. Now I can spread this one out a little bit too. Oh yeah. That adds just an just a small sheen. You know, because there's not a lot of glimmer in that um gleam color. There's not a lot of of sheen to it. You know what I mean? There you can kind of see it. Okay. So now we're going to go in with that dew and sky color. I am going to wet my brush for this. There we go. I'm going to go in with the sky first and then the dew. Just very lightly dip into both. Yeah. 
and not poke my eyeball. That was my thing. I'm going to clean this up in a minute. There's that eye. Okay. Boy. There we go. It's just very subtle, very, very subtle. Okay. So now we will, I think I'm going to re-wet my brush though, just to, sorry Coda, she moved over here. So I'm going to redo that and dip here. Now we'll see if I can recreate that on the other side. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I finished my look. So I have the Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline Baddest Beige. It's my favorite bad, um, nude out there on my lips. I put the... Uh, the um sky on my under eye and then i also put the grand canyon underneath it just to kind of smoke it out and then i also put my usual voluminous primer on everything the uh better than sex mascara on my upper lashes and then i put the ColourPop blue on my lower lashes just why not for fun I thought it would look good with the look you know and then this is the Maybelline lasting drama matte in rusty terracotta in my waterline because I thought again it would look really well look really good uh so that's the final look we just gotta spray it Light all day in watermelon because yes it's fantastic just don't breathe it because oh, it'll get you every time as for this gorgeous 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 palette I think that describes how I feel about this palette it's phenomenal I love it it's beautiful you can do 
so many different looks with it. The the pigmentation on point. Um, I will be using it again. Remember, go out and have yourself an adventure, even if it's just to the grocery store. Blessings to y'all. Love ya.